Hey guys, how's it going? David here with another video. But instead of doing a product review today, today we're gonna to take a look at Plex. For the past few weeks, I've been having an issue with Plex on two of my Vizio smart TVs. I've scoured the forums, I've looked up all kinds of information um, on, online and just anywhere I can find it. And everybody keeps saying ever since they upgraded to version 2. Point, I think 3.46, um, nothing but issues. The Vizio TVs won't connect to it anymore. Um, everybody is like, well, make sure all your settings are right. So in this video, what I want to do is actually show you that I do indeed have my Plex settings set up correctly. And I'm going to do that by demonstrating something here just real quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around, and here we're going to see um, my HP Elite tab. Uh, you can see me there in the background. Um, so here I've got an HP Elite pad. Here I've got an Acer Chromebook. Here I have an LG uh, Pad 8. Um, over here on my desk I have just the, uh, the, the Plex app running on, on my, my computer here. And they are all, in fact if we look up here, Right there, that's my internal IP address. Don't care if you see it. But if you look up here, you'll see, yep, that's Plex, all right. In fact, if I go ahead and um, let's just close out of that. So go home, see, there's my Plex. There's all my stuff set up. Um, and there it was working on my desktop. So we're gonna come back over here. Um, here we've got some uh, some pen and Teller set up on, on the, uh, on the G or the LG G pad. Um, we're going to come back to here. This is some pen and teller. Um, but yep. So see here, I'm also on, oops, if I can get it to click out of there, there we go. All right. So again, let's see if we can get that to focus. Right. So again, we're running on Plex, right? There's, there's everything going on Plex. So there, there's two devices that it's working on over here on the Chrome tab, or sorry, on the, uh, uh, Acer Chromebook, uh, same thing here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out. Oops, yep. Um, again, so here it is working on my Chromebook. Uh, one more time, I'm gonna jump back over here to the Elite Pad from HP. I'm gonna go ahead and click out. Got some uh, Adjustment Bureau going on there. Get back out of my movies there. So we can get back to the home screen, hopefully. No, nope, come on. Wow, it just doesn't want to... Uh... Anyway, you get the point, right? I've got four devices running simultaneously on my local Plex server. Um, I've got an old HP laptop set up with Ubuntu desktop on it, and it's only... It's only reason for existing is just to run Plex. So let's go ahead and take a look up here. Right, so here is that laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password for the device. And here we are, this is a Plex desktop, or sorry, an Ubuntu desktop. We can see that I've actually just titled it Plex and everything there, I, it, it, everything is being pulled from this laptop. You can see right here, um, it is hardwired in. Uh, it's got, um, I've got all of my folders mapped, oops. Um, I've got a folder mapped from over here. I've got an HP, or sorry, a WD MyCloud. Uh, all of my media is here. Um, it's being pulled from here to here and then being distributed accordingly to whatever device happens to need it. So what's the issue? I'm glad you asked. If I, whoops, right. So in fact, here, there we've got uh, Sin City. But this, if I can get that to focus a little bit there, there we go. This is on Netflix, right? And Netflix works just fine. However, if I come into here and I open up Plex, look down here in this bottom right corner, 2436, that's the, that's the uh, version number is 2436. Yep, I'm already a member. I'm going to sign in. Maybe. Okay, so there's that. So let's come back over to here. Plex.tv slash 
pin, right? So now it's asking for that uh, code. I'll say V, oops, dang it, V X five uh, L, right? So see here, let me move my mouse. VX five L. See right there, VX five L. So I'm going to go ahead, click link. Great, it's all set up. So now we watch the TV. Let's get it to focus there. And now it's saying, the network connection is disconnected. Please check your TV's network setting, ethernet connection, and or wireless network, then try again. Right, so it's apparent that I have a network connection set up on the TV. Um, we were just watching Netflix on it and everything worked just fine. Furthermore, um, let's see if I can get back here a little bit. Right here, that's the network cable. That's hardwired in, right? In fact, you can even see the activity going on under there. See, flashy lights means the activity is working. So then a lot of people are like, well, is your connection set up correctly? Well, let's have a look, shall we? So I'm gonna go into my settings up here. I'm gonna go into my server. Um, I've got remote access set up, right? <laughs> That's my remote access is set up. It's working, fully accessible outside my network. I go to my network. Secured connections are set to preferred. It's always been on preferred. I just enabled IPv6 just in case. Um, local network discovery is fine. Um, everything here should be fine. So if I click save, again, keeping in mind, secure connection is set to preferred. Everything's accessible from outside my network. Um, if I go into my uh, uh, devices, yep, there's the TV, the one that we were just looking at that said it couldn't be discovered or that it, it wasn't connected. Um, 2436, that's the one. In fact, I went through and removed a bunch of stuff in here that wasn't that I wasn't using anymore. Right here's the server running on Linux. In fact, you can see it's Ubuntu. Everything there is fine. There's my PC, um, there's my tablet. Uh, there's, sorry, the, the Android LG tablet. There's the Windows tablet. This is my phone um, and my girlfriend's phone. We have the same phone. Um, this is the computer we're on right this very second. So that's a problem. Everything on my end is set up properly. It works on what, one, two, three, four. You know what? In fact, I forgot something. Um, let me grab, I'm going to grab the, my remote, right? This is for the TV. Okay. I'm going to go exit. And then I'm going to switch my input. See right there, it says Chromecast. Okay, so I've got a Chromecast hooked up to this TV, just so we can see it. Right there's the Chromecast, HDMI in, powered via USB. There's the Chromecast. On this screen, we can see there's the Chromecast. So for the sake of demonstration here, right here we're back to our uh, LG G-Pad 8. Um, we've normally got the uh, this Chromecast set up in the bedroom, but we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put it to right there. This is in the living room. Hey, look. I'm going to go ahead and click play. Because I have a Chromecast hooked up to this TV, it works. So. So, explain to me why it works on an LG G Pad 8. A, an Acer Chromebook, an HP Elite Pad, my PC, and a Chromecast, but not the app on my LG, or sorry, on my Vizio TV. Don't tell me my settings are wrong, because they're not. It works just fine. There's something wrong with the app, and it needs to be fixed. So let me know in the comments below if you've had a similar issue like this. Let me know, because I know there are literally hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands of people having the same issue. If you're having this issue, do me a favor, share it to, to, to Plex. Plex, if you're watching this, 
Like, this is an issue that a lot of people are having, so fix it. Again, comments are down below. Thumbs up if you can relate to this. If you're having the same issue as me, give this video a thumbs up and share it to Vizio, or to, keep saying Vizio, share it to, to Plex, letting them know that their app is broken and that they need to fix it.